You know, I'm guaranteed that after this, there's definitely going to be one more fight this year. But um, depending on the outcome, depending on um, what we can do, you know, you might see two more performances this year. You know, I'm really enjoying what's happening in the world of boxing right now. Um, you know, I like my position and I just like entertaining, man. You know, I want to stay active. I'm looking forward to hitting um, in what I call the next gear, you know. Um, with my strength, with my conditioning, focus, you know, I want to stay busy all year. I want to have a great year this year so we can set up a tremendous year next year. We're all sad. Ugh. Keith Thurman can't knock people out no more. Oh, it's, it's depressing. You know, I'm, learn I'm learning um, about the world of boxing. You know, I'm a true champion and champions have to go 12 rounds sometimes. You know, in both of my 12 round performances, you guys still got to witness a knockdown. Uh, you know, I still hurt my opponent, um, outworked my opponents. And, um, you know, we're gonna go in with the same boxing formula. You know, we're gonna outwork you and we're gonna hurt you. Um, you know, the question is, can, you know, will he be able to take it? You know, I believe that I would have gotten a stoppage over Robert Guerrero um, if it wasn't for the headbutt. The headbutt, um, I was concerned with it in the fight and I fought semi-cautiously uh, due to it. Um, but obviously, you know, I knew that I could hurt him. I was a little frustrated that I didn't hurt him enough. And that's when the knockdown came. Um, outside of that, you know, with this next fight, you know, we know we're going to hurt him. Are we going to stop him? We're going to always go for the stoppage. But, you know, it's a lot of times if I don't get a knockout, I call it their good, not my bad. You know, the number one rule in boxing is protect yourself at all times. And especially when a fighter like me has a reputation that I do, you know, these, uh, these boys train to prepare to be defensive and to protect themselves. I think Guerrero, after a few rounds, fought for survival until he got knocked down and then he he finally really wanted to try to fight back but it was already too late and you know even though he he was physically applying pressure um he wasn't accurate his hands weren't really doing nothing his strength really wasn't there but you know he he got this like adrenaline rush in him um, so you know like i said man boxing is what it is i'm looking forward to a knockout and we're hoping that we get it i'm looking forward to um Within, within the next three weeks, we have plans on um, getting on some radio shows back at home and really um, starting to get the wheels turning on um, promoting this event, you know. Um, and I got a lot of fans and a, a lot of friends and family um, that haven't had the opportunity to come out to Vegas. You know, my past two fights were here in Vegas, and I just know a lot of people that are truly excited to see me uh, fight live, you know, in my hometown, you know, Tampa Bay. I'm looking forward to packing the house. We have uh, uh, tons of local um, talent on the undercard, and I know there's going to be a lot of people coming out and supporting them, and um, I'm just really looking forward to it, man. It, it really should be fun, and, you know, spreading the word that, you know, Tampa Bay, once again, you know, uh, has a champion. We had Winky Wright, St. Petersburg, Jeff Lacey, St. Petersburg, um, Antonio Tarver from Tampa, and now Keith One Time Thurman, born and raised in Clearwater, Florida, man. So now the whole Bay has felt what it's like to hold a title, man, and I'm truly proud of it. Continue. I want Amir Khan in yeah. the future. I was highly aware of that. Um, I actually asked for Amir Khan for this fight, yeah. but Amir Khan took another date and took another opponent. And then for like a week, there were rumors about me and Sean participating on this card. And then a week later, that died out. And so when I got the call, I didn't know who I was going to get, you know. And then he said, normally he gives me a list of names, right? But he said, we got Luis Colazzo, and I'm pretty sure he'll sign the contract. And like for the first time in my career, I was only presented with one singular name. You know, and I told you guys a thousand times before, I'm a yes man. So I said, okay, Al, I mean, it's not, it's not making me, you know, it doesn't excite me. Yeah. But then, you know, uh, he sprung in the news that, um, you know, we're bringing into your hometown. And that's where the excitement for this fight for me personally is, you know. Um, plus, I look forward, you know, I respect everybody. Luis Colazzo um, is a veteran. He knows boxing. You know, he's, he's been in, he's fought, you know, Shane Mosley, um, 
uh, my buddy um, Andre Berto, um, which was a controversial loss, you know. Um, he beat Victor Ortiz, you know. So, so he's a respectable um, fighter. And we're going to see what happens July 11th.